Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to some more Mad Pack with myself, Lewis. Yes, check me out with my funky mud helmet. Oh yes, and my very nice trousers and bronze booties. Don't I look just fabulous? <laughs> so in the last episode, we made our way along the coastline, searching for one of these outposts that I've decided I'm going to take over and use as my base, the base of operations. And in the doing so, we came across many great wonders. We met the merfolk, the tritons, and we came across a giant ship that we just haven't kind of got the stuff to attack just yet and we went into a lighthouse and half the base blew up and my text went weird and overall we're fairly haunted and i'm pretty definite there's a guy out there who uh, wants to like i don't know steal my bread or something so yes now i also managed to get most of my stuff back from falling over here and some of you guys said it might have been the mirror but it wasn't the mirror because the mirror is here someone even told me how you actually pronounce it and i still can't pronounce it so we'll still just call it the broken relic of mirror <laughs> i think that's just a better name isn't it uh, we've still got our jammy sandwiches and i still have my uh, surplus pantaloons of defense yes and my meteorite sword that we forgot from a lucky block which is very nice i'm gonna try and grab all the bits that i need and we're going to see if uh Actually, do you know what? Should we try out the mirror first before we do anything? I think that could be because I really, really need to try this out. Otherwise, I'm not going to be satisfied. Uh, let's go and try out the broken relic of mirror. Uh, we'll make our way into the jungle slightly. Uh, hopefully, nobody is watching and uh, we're going to test out our broken relic of mirror. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh my Jesus! What is that? What? <laughs> I don't like this. Wow. Can I, like, fire it over there? Oh, my lord! Um, well, it's kind of disastrous, really, when you think about it, because it just rains down on us. <laughs> How are you... What? Wow. I, can I just throw it at the enemy? Just be like... <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. The broken relic of Mir. I... I feel it's pretty good, and kind of scary at the same time. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to sleep in this bed in case, because I can't remember the last place we took a nap uh, in an actual bed, not our sleeping bag. Uh, I don't think the sleeping bag sets spawn points, so yeah, that's definitely a thing. Uh, I've also not got my sleeping bag. Sleeping bag of... no? Oh, we lost our sleeping bag. <laughs> I have a very bad habit of uh, leaving my sleeping bag behind. We've done this on multiple occasions. Uh, I'm sure we can get it back though. It's a new day. If I bring a bed with me, we'll be fine. So I want to bring my meteorite sword. I'm going to put my broken relic of mirror in here in the end. Of Actually, you know, you know, I'm going to hold on to it because it's one of those things. Uh, we're going to grab our cooked fish, apples, all the food we can get. So let's grab all the food first. The tools, because these guys are very handy indeed. The bread, because bread is great. And we'll take a stone sword as a backup, I think. Uh, an iron shovel, uh, glowstone, slime balls, string. Ladders can be pretty helpful sometimes. Clay, spider's eyes, and we'll take the bones. Yes. What do we have down here? We have a iron... Actually, you know how to take the iron sword? It's better. We'll take an iron hoe. We'll grab the slime balls, all the good things. There we get, there we get. And, oh, my muddy armor. Hey, hey, yeah. Nice. Take my leather, my bones, my ender pearl, and my steaks, my cooked things, and all the other lovely jubblies, especially my strawberry jelly sandwiches, because they taste amazing. And uh, we'll leave these surplus pantaloons in there. I'll take this stuff. Yeah. Now, some of you guys were saying I should put stuff in the ender chest, because these towers are everywhere, and I think you actually have a very good point. So we're going to put in stuff like glowstone. Uh, we'll put in the copper, the jammy. Actually, no, I'm going to keep the jam sandwiches. Uh, I need to keep those close to me. And we'll put the bones, the kill, the ender pearls, the iron hoe, because I don't think I'm going to need that anytime soon. All the things that we don't really need on us at the minute. So the, the force bucket is really handy. Uh, the, the torches are great. The wool we don't need at the minute. We'll put some oak wood in there because we can hang on to that. Except for that, I think I will take... Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, that's better, isn't it? We've got all the food, and we've... Actually, I might even stash some food, just in case, because we've got a fair bit on us, haven't we? We've got our jammy sandwiches, our mutton, and our bread, and I'll put the rest in there. 
How does that look? It looks pretty good. Uh, we might want to take a pickaxe with us. Have we got a non-damaged one? We haven't. Well, that's fine. We'll take that. And a axe. Axe, axe, axe. Yes. All right. I think we're good. I actually, no, change of plans, I'm going to take some cobblestone with me, because you never know when you're going to need cobblestone. Bam! Okay, so this stuff can go in here and do endery goodness, and the rest can do its stuff. Uh, we don't really need to worry about the glowstone, because, you know, that glowstone stuff is everywhere, if these towers are everywhere, so I have nothing really to worry about there. I wonder if my guy is in here. Why can I hear burning? No. Oh. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Resume journey. <laughs> Along the coast. I'm actually going to take these sheep out as we go. Let's use this. Because they will swarm. Sheep are known for their swarming abilities. I want to get as, I want to get a load of wool. Yeah, let's try and grab some more as we go. And if we can get all of it, we can make ourselves another sleeping bag. Which will be very, very nice indeed. Yes. I don't think when we kill the sheep, though, the pigs and the... And the cows will swarm us. It only seems to be they protect their fellow kind, which I very much understand. If I was a sheep and I saw someone slaying another sheep, I would most definitely get involved right there. Uh, let's go this way. We want to stick to the outskirts, don't we? So we really want to be getting on the beach, away from all of these broken things. Yes, and I seem to have collected some bamboo. Very nice. I don't really know what I'm going to use bamboo for, but I will take that bamboo anyways. So, should we consult the map on our next destination? I think that should be a thing. Let's have a little ganderoo. The next place we're going to be is going to be up here. I don't see going down river is not going to help us find my outpost. Uh, maybe if we go to this snowy biome, then we'll find it round the outside of there. Oh my god, look at the size of that, guys. Wow, that's one really big pirate flag. Oh, oh, there's another big ship out there as well. I guess if we wanted to get ourselves some wool, we could always go and loot ourselves a pirate ship's flag. But I think then we'd have to take down the pirates themselves. And I don't know if I want to do that because they've got hooks, they've got guns, they have, uh, they've got planks that, that you'll end up walking over. It's, just, it's not a good shout, really. So we'll stay away from them for the time being. But I will loot this wool. See, the pigs, they did nothing. They just let it happen. Sheep murder. They they don't care. <laughs> wow, look at this lovely bath of of Ars Magica stuff. Yes. Okay, let's go this way. See what we can find. There's another one of those towers over there, I think. Pretty sure that's a tower. Is that a tower? Oh no, that's a small house. Well, well, well. Who could live in this small house? Is it a chicken? No. <laughs> it is a giant hole. Yes. Is it pigs? What, what is that noise? <laughs> Why can I hear it all? Meep, meep. Oh, I wonder if there's... I wonder if there's rats down there. We did see rats, didn't we? Uh, like, what were they called again? Knolls? Or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Hello! Anybody home? Have you got any great wares? Uh, could I steal anything? Probably not. I feel there could be traps. Absolutely anywhere. So I'm gonna... Just make sure that nothing's going to fall on my head and kill me instantly. No, nope, we look fairly good. Oh my god, there's redstone and gold and diamonds! Please! Oh, I was really hoping for some, some good stuff in there just then. <laughs> Turns out, it's not there. But we're going to loot the books. Because we can. Oh man, I'd really love to take that stuff, but we just haven't got the materials to do it at the minute. Damn. Oh well, well that's all that's in that house. Let's make our way back to the shoreline because we're not going to find what we're looking for around here and then we will continue along the coast on our epic journey to find the outpost and once we found the outpost we can finally settle down <laughs> eat our jammy sandwiches uh, we seem to have Pam's harvest craft in so I could make myself a cup of tea and then we can live happily ever after and never have to fight a bad person ever again. Although I can't see that being a great series, can I? Can't, no, that's, I think it's all about beating up the bad guys, uh, getting married, drinking tea, and eating jammy sandwiches. <laughs> what a great series! Oh my god, how do you watch this stuff? Oh, 
Whoa, look at that, guys. There's a treehouse in the midst. Yes, I've just come from over there. We haven't gone far. Uh, there's the pirate ship with the um, amazing pirate flag being donned by a by that guy up there. I'm kind of really interested to, like, see it, you know, see if there is any bad guys on there. Because the last time we fought pirates in Hexit, they weren't all that. Unless they've got, like, better skills, you know, they've leveled up or something. They might have, you know, being pirates and such. They could be on here. Or it could be another one that has those spawners underneath. Because we found the one that had the ghasts on it. Uh, was it gut? No, it was blazes, wasn't it? Oh, can you hear blazes? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's... Uh, I really want the wall, though. Like, if I can get just a little bit of that wall, I'll be really happy. Whoa. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, oh, there's a special one down there. We're going to have to be really quick at this. Please, give me the wall. Actually, I'm going to take half the master with me, I think. Time to actually... No, that's a really bad idea. <laughs> I was about to, like, mine vein the whole ship just then. And release all of the bad guys below us. That would have very much not worked. Uh, let's do this. Oh, oh, let's grab some of this wall. Sorry, guys, I'm just looting your mass. Don't don't worry about me. You just stay down there and, and do what blazers do. Make weird noises and flutter around. Yeah, I don't, I'm not here. I'm not here. <laughs> Cheers, guys, for the wall. And I will be on my merry way. Have we got enough wall? Or nine? Yeah, we got loads. See you later, guys. I am out of here. <laughs> oh, that's such a rowdy bunch. <laughs> it looks like pirates have taken to hiring mobs as their new companions. Very scary stuff. But we've got a treehouse over here, which I think I might be checking out just a tad to see what it looks like. But I'm going to first make my sleeping bag before we do anything else, so that way I'm prepared in case it gets dark and uh, we don't get scared. So let's make our sleeping bag. Here we go. And this time, we will not forget about it. Like, we'll, we'll hold on. It's going to stay there forever. If it's, if it's not in that slot in the next episode... I've forgotten about it, and you guys can can scream and and have moments and stuff. You can do whatever you please. I give you permission. All right, here we go. It's a giant treehouse. Is it tree? Yeah, it's a treehouse. I wonder what's in the treehouse. Oh, oh. First things first. Let's check to make sure I'm not gonna. <laughs> wow. I open the chest. The things come down. The lava falls on the guy. That is. Is that it? Yeah, so, okay, we need to stop the lava first. Let's get our cobblestone and remove our oak. Wow, this tree is, is deadly. I wonder if I step on, because is, is there anything stopping? No, there's nothing stopping. So if I went, like, if will it fall if I go on it? No, it won't, okay. Right, so there is much lava under here. <laughs> we shall do this. Oh, my God, it's night time already. Let's have a sleep. We do not want the bad guys coming out because they're fairly bad in the Mad Pack. They have some pretty good powers and stuff. Yes, we don't want that. I'm going to put that right back there. So, let's try and make this slightly more safe. There's one there. One there. And one there. Yes. And we'll do this guy around here. Uh, can I... Uh, I need to get in here, don't I? Yes. There we go. This man. Oh, oh, okay. I think we've made it that little bit more safe. So if I now go ahead and break this, we should be okay. I just need to get rid of all you guys. And I really hope this was worth it. Oh my Jesus, we've got eggs. Really? All of that for some eggs? Well, cheers. Are there any of these tea? No tea? Pa parsnips? No? 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 Well, we'll take the coal. We'll take the coal. We'll leave the stone though, because I don't really want stone slabs. I, I, I don't really need a crafting table either, or these guys, so we'll, we'll leave all of that and, the, and that stuff, because we don't need any of that, do we? I think we... that was... that was rubbish. <laughs> where was all the good stuff when you want it? So where are we? Where do we need to go? We need to go this wall. Ooh, that's the pyramid. I remember being told to not go near the pyramid. Okay, we're gonna circle around this way and try and stay away from the pyramid. You guys said that there was a boss in there. Some sort of evil thing. Oh, there's another treehouse over there. Yes, another treehouse. And a... Oh, that's not a... Is that a spider? No, it's not a spider tree, because there's no... No, because there's no... Of the stringy stuff on it. Okay, let's go this way. We're going to try and stay far away 
from this guy, but far away enough that I can peek at it. Because <laughs> I, 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 ooh, I can hear bad guys. Yes, far away enough that I can still peer inside and just have a little snoop. Little snoop. Oh. Oh my god! No, 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 no. Ritsuko? Ritsuko is a thing. You hear the shrieking of a beast. Well, that's Ritsuko, the elf archer. Alright, so we got close enough that we got shot. We kind of went a little bit closer than peaking distance, but at least we went at least we know what's there now. So you guys were right, there is a boss in there. A fairly evil one at that. He has pointy ears. Any man that has pointy ears, I would say it's probably not best that you trust them. Because they could be a little bit or any block of water that just sits there. I wouldn't trust that either. <laughs> it generally isn't good. Oh, I can hear bad guys as well. There's a tower over that way. The world's kind of loading in around us as we explore this area. So we'll just let that explore. Uh, explore. We'll let that load. And we will make our way to the shoreline. Yes, the shoreline. And have we been around here? Because I can't remember. No, we haven't. Okay. Uh, let's just keep going this way and see what we find. So I spent many a days scouring the shoreline looking for my outpost and yet have I found it? No, I haven't. Let me out the boat. <laughs> Please. Let me, there we go. Thank you very much. I Yes, I've been looking for some time for my outpost and I'm still yet to find it. But I look at this biome I found. This land of giant trees. I feel like someone from Honey, I Shrunk the Kid. This is insane. And there's another tower over there as well. Let me show you where I've been. So, we were we were over here somewhere. Yes, because there's the, the murfish. And I've come around here. And I'm currently here. And I thought I would stop to have a small rest. And try and figure out what these trees are. And uh, why they're here. Because they look quite entertaining. What are they made of? Giant flower stem. What do you do with giant flower stem? Uh. uh oh, it's wood. Oh, okay, so you can use, oh, I see, uh -huh. oh my god, there's a green woman, <laughs> why is she doing this to me, don't give me a heart attack like that, a uh, giant red flower, oh, oh, they're giving me nothing, I wonder if, ha, ah, you get roses from them, uh huh. I got free roses. Very nice. I also have a load of seeds again. And unless, if it's not tea, I don't want it. Uh, asparagus, leek, new cucumber, new scallion, new artichoke, new. So nope, 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 nope. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it's, nope. I don't want it. I think we should make our way over to the uh, small tower over here and then uh, carry on our journey through the uh, dead forest to see if we can f hopefully make our way to the uh, outpost. I hope we can. It's been a few days since I've found any uh, anything that looks slightly good. There's, uh, there's a thing over there, actually, a wooden thing over there, so I guess we can check that out. Let's go through here and we shall grab all of the things upstairs. Hopefully there's a replenishment of bread because I'd rather not eat. Yeah, there we go. I'd rather not eat all of my jammy sandwiches because they're very yummy indeed. So if we can find some... Oh my god, if we take any hunger damage, we die. Let's eat a cooked mutton. <laughs> wow. There we go. Have they got any... I wonder if they've got any better pantaloons than mine. Mine are 2-2, two -two, protection and unbreaking. Uh, blast, no, but they've got bread, so I'm going to take this bread. Thank you very much. And have you got any? you got no, 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 ooh. Uh, torches. They, no, they haven't actually got any bread. And I've got more than enough food. So I just, I want to grab bread so that we, you know, we don't have to eat our jammy sandwiches. Huh. You know, I think we're alright. I think we're good. Let's uh, go this way. I want to see what this brown thing is over here. Is that a tree or is there actually something over there? If it's nothing, then we'll... Oh, Jill McBeebloover. <laughs> what are you trying to do swimming in that there lava? Oh, there's always one. Always one. Oh, there's a little house. An abandoned house. What is this abandoned house hold for us? Does it hold any bad guys? Because I always get worried when I find stuff like this, but that there could be stuff in the floor just waiting to eat me. Uh, no, we seem... 
There's not actually anything here. Well, all righty. Oh my god, there's silverfish in the floor. Well, they're in the walls. Die a horrible death. I absolutely can't stand silverfish. <laughs> it's how we first died on our first live stream. First death was caught. The cause of death was silverfish. Yes, I got ganged up by many silverfish and they had their dirty way with me, unfortunately. All right, let's go this way. We'll make our way into the dark forest of horrible things. And, uh, yeah, let's see what this place holds for us. It doesn't look very, uh, it doesn't look like it holds anything good. I'm just going to go out there and say that. I don't think any forest that's dead and decaying, uh, even that chicken's dying there, can, can really be that great. What is this? Just mud? Is that, why is that chicken, is that chicken dying or is that a red chicken? <laughs> Oh, it's a rooster. Woo, what do roosters give us? I want to eat it. They give me... They give me... Rose red. <laughs> well, I could... Well, yep, yeah, that makes kind of sense, I guess. If you... Yep, yeah, probably. Well, yes. Let us make our way through the dead forest. Oh, wow, guys, look at this thing. Look at all of the ore and the volcano-y stuff and the bad guys. Oh dear, this looks very interesting indeed. Don't go in it. Yeah, we've got gold and iron and it looks like a dwarf's paradise in there. I wonder what lies inside. <laughs> so I've carried on exploring as much as I possibly can with no hope in sight of finding my outpost. Well, no hope just yet. Hopefully, I, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. Until I find my outpost. That, I thought that was it then. <laughs> I just saw the little sides. I was like, what? No way. But no, unfortunately, that is, that's not our outpost. Uh, but, I, you know, we're going to find it. We're going to find it. It's going to be a thing. There's only so far we can travel before... Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, there's only so far we can travel before we, uh, before we find it. It's going to be around here somewhere. Uh, let's make a few more boats so that I uh, can resume my journey. There we go. I'm going to take that with me, I think, as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Adventure resumed. <laughs> I have my boat again. Let's... No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Adventure not resumed. Adventure resumed. We're back on our way, guys. Let's hope we can end this episode on a high as we found the outpost. Well, it's been a few days, and I've been making my way along the coast. Yes quite far, I must admit. Like, pretty far indeed. And I found this place right here that I think demands some exploring. And seeing as we have these weird spawnery majobs here, ooh, they're earth. They're elementals, aren't they? Well, do these guys do much damage? I don't think they do. No, like, they're, they're pretty easy to kill, aren't they? Alright, we'll get rid of these guys. And... It's like an already made, what has he got? Mob elemental, dark, rare turtling mob, uh, a wither bulwark. I, I, uh, bulwark blast off ninja. Oh my jeebus. That doesn't sound very good. I wonder if we can get around the back and, uh, you know, just like, <laughs> and just sneaky, sneaky our way in there and see if they notice. Oh my God, there's loads of them spawning. What is that thing up there? There's... Oh, I don't like the look of that. <laughs> it doesn't look very friendly. Uh, I, I have horrible feelings that this is an extremely bad idea. Yes, possibly. There's so many things I've seen on my adventure. Around the globe, around the world of Minecraft. I've... Oh my god, those things look like they're staring at me. I've I've seen monsters, sea monsters. I've, I'm not, not lying. I found sea monsters. I found, uh, I found decaying pirate ships above the water that have like nevery stuff on them. I've, I've, I've seen a fair few things on my adventures, but still no outpost. But I'm sure we will. Let's have one last, one last stint of uh, exploring before we uh, wrap up for today's episode. Yes, I, I've got real good feelings about this that we're going to find it, guys. I, I'm not going to go into that place over there, though, because there's like a quadrillion bad guys in there. It's only going to go 
very, very badly, I think. And I came across this biome here as well. I wonder, we're not back where we was, are we? Uh, oh, we're on the other side of it. Yeah, because I was around here. And, oh, key dokey. So this is the other side. It's like a Badlands biome. It's pretty cool. And there's these bugs on there that will even eat their brothers. That's disgusting. They, 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 they will eat anything. <laughs> Hopefully not me, though. No, that would suck pretty badly. But I'm going to resume my journey, guys, for the outpost. And I will see you soon if I make any progress. So my adventuring has taken me back to another small village here along the coastline, not too far away from a merman village and two large pirate ships. I'm yet to really explore it, but I thought we would have a little look together. I'm probably going to have a little sleep first before we try and do anything, though. Look how many people have died. There's millions of them. I've been exploring for quite some time, so... Yeah, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> Let's see what we've got inside here, see if we've got any good stuff. Uh, we've got a spoils bag. Nice, these guys are great. Some vibrant alloy, some iron nougats, some obsidian, even better. An iron chest plate, yes. Okay, we'll switch that out for those so I can finally put on something slightly nice and some pulsating iron. Ooh, let's see what's inside our spoils bag. We've got a Death Bloom 39 creamed broccoli soup, a claw, a pile of ash, a bronze chest plate, and an apple. Wow, that's something else. <laughs> I guess I uh, will take the creamed broccoli because that sounds amazing and we'll drop a wool. Uh, bronze is better than iron, isn't it? I, I don't know. I don't I don't actually know if it is. We'll put it on anyway because it looks nice. Uh, oh, I just heard an explosion over that way. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else have we got? Death Blooms. Are Death Blooms useful for anything? They give us black dye. That's not very useful. Pile of ashes. No, apple. No. Okay. You can go in there. Yes. Okay. Right. And I just heard an explosion somewhere around here. Pretty sure I did. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Christopher the Smith. Oh, hello, Simon. Oh, was it? January the Arbiter tried to... S oh, no, that's, that's not it. <laughs> January the Arbiter tried to swim in lava. That's from... Uh, that's, that's one of those things. Oh, look, and they're even breeding bees. What are they breeding? Forest queens. Yes. Very regal and stuff. Let's go over here and see if there's anything good inside this towery guy, because there could be a few... Lucky block! Um... Oh, this is a very risky time to do it, as I haven't got... <laughs> I haven't got any space to throw my good things. Uh, there should be some chests in here. Let's go over to this way, and we'll destroy you. There we go. And is there stairs? Is there stairs? There is not stairs. I have, I have one stair. <laughs> we could use our one solitary stair to make our way up there. I don't think that's going to do the trick, but I can kind of fill it the rest of it out this way. There we go. Oh, oh, well, that's not going to work, is it? Because it's a little bit... How about that? Is that... Yep. Yeah. Go away. Oh, my jeebus. Uh, okay, well, we'll just... We'll just, uh, we'll just do this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think that's going to work. And maybe some, uh, some cobble. Yeah, cool. We'll get rid of... Oh, my, no... No. Let's try this one more time, maybe. Uh, there we go. Look, we're going to make it up this time. Can't be that hard to make our way up a, a small broken tower, can it, really? Uh, I don't know. We'll get rid of you. Get rid of these guys so they don't spawn any bad guys. Oh, look at the experience I'm getting from these. And I got broccoli soup as well. Who could, you, you could never want more than broccoli soup. Okay, so we'll throw away our clovers. I'm going to take these. Because we can't leave the lucky block behind, because they can have some amazing loots in them. And this guy has nothing in there either. Okie dokie. Let us go this way. What? Oh, no. No. I think I might have forgotten where the lucky block is. No. No. Where is... I can see on the map. Yellow little blob. There we go. Okay. So, let us put our goods in here, shall we? So, one chest, two chest, and all of these. Cool! So this is all our, like, you know, semi-decent rubbish, isn't it? And, uh, this, these things. There we go. And if anything bad comes out, I will slap it 
with my sword. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna have a creamed broccoli soup. It looks quite yummy. <laughs> there we go. Cream broccoli soup for the win. Right, so I can't actually remember the last time I slept in a bed. Which is kind of worrying, because I'm pretty sure it was a while away. And it's currently, what is it, it's 11, 12 a.m., so it's a little bit in the morning. I really, really hope that this is not one of the anvil ones that just insta-gives you. If it is, we're in a slight bit of bother, but I think I've, I've figured a way to stop this from happening. If we do it on gravel, okay, here we go. Please, 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 oh, oh, oh my jeebus, we got a beacon. Look at that, we just got a beacon. We didn't even have to, that is amazing. That is just too good to be true. Okay, I'm gonna take all my stuff back then. Well, I can't believe we just got a beacon. Out of all things, we got a beacon. I haven't had one bad one of these guys just yet. Not even one bad one. Wow. Okay, well, that is, uh, that's amazing. So let's do this stuff, like this, broccoli soup, uh, chest plate, go to you, don't need the wool anymore, okay, we don't need, uh, we don't, well, I can throw you there for the time being, I think we're alright in my boat and my sleeping bag, yes. <laughs> wow, well we just got a beacon, we haven't even really started doing anything just yet and we've already got a beacon, this is insane in the membrane, uh, there's another small house over this way, what is that, I think I've already been in there, that was like a little kind of rubbish house that had nothing, uh, let's resume along the bay, look how cool this place is as well, there's like a little, like a little oasis here, is that what you'd call it, an oasis, I think so, uh, the cow seems to think so, yeah, look at it. Isn't that really cool? Like, I wonder how deep it is as well. It looks pretty deep, doesn't it? It's like it goes, like, all the way down. <laughs> but the next area for us to explore as we make our way to the outpost is going to be the wintry wonderland just over here. I'm still well... Oh, it's not that deep. <laughs> I thought that was really deep then. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I almost fell down there. Yes, we will we'll continue along the Winter Wonderland to try and find our outposts. Well, I've been travelling for a fair few days, and I'm still yet to find any sign of any outpost, but look at this thing. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> it's huge! Now, that is a castle, a pretty big castle, I must admit. Yes, it's rather large, and <laughs> pretty awesome as well. Oh my god, if only we could... Now that would make a good house. That would make an amazing house. It's a beautiful house. I I think it's pretty cool. Let's make our way down the river. Oh, let's try and make our way down the river. Oh, there we go. Slowly down the river, we're making our way. <laughs> let's go around the outskirts and try and check it out and see what cool stuff we can find. I don't think a boat is going to work brilliantly here, though. We might have to go by foot. I've been lucky so far that I've been able to do everything by uh, by boat. So <laughs> I've managed to save myself a lot of food doing that, which is very handy indeed. Just making little pit stops to have a sleep and to do bits like that. But Jesus, the size of this guy, the amount of cool things that you could put in there, the amount of awesome furniture you could slip in there is insane. Like, oh my lord, I I wonder what's actually in there. <laughs> I do wonder what's actually in there. I've got things flying around me. Go, go away, go away. No, no, there we go. That's better. Uh, this thing's insane. If we're going to go in there, we're going to need a way out, a very fast way out. I think that could possibly... Uh, there we go. <laughs> Look at all these seeds where it's kind of spawned in and destroyed everything in its spawning process. Oh my god, if we do that, everything starts flying around us. <laughs> oh, I can hear stuff in there. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, you're slightly fast. Now you're running away from me. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, he's firing things at me. He's firing things at me, there's many of them. Stop firing the things. Can I sneak in here? 
Okay, there's a lot of guys in there. Apparently, it's... <laughs> they definitely don't want me taking their castle. Although they run away when I start attacking them. They're quite... Yes, they get a little bit scared. <laughs> and they run for their lives. I don't blame them, because that's a pretty terrifying sword. I'm tarnishing right here. Uh, oh, there's good stuff in there. Okay, okay. Well, should we find a place to settle for the night before we decide to go and take on this amazing structure of awesomeness? There's even a brilliant... Oh, stuff blowing up in there. There's even brilliant caves over there for some sleep, for, you know, doing some mining and stuff. It looks amazing. Uh, let's try and find somewhere to put our heads down for the night. Hopefully there's a tower around here. Where we can get our stuff together. Mwah, there we go. That'll do the trick. That thingamabob over there, whatever that is, it looks like it looks like a one of those towers you find in a town. Okay, we're gonna go this way, we'll settle down in there, I think. Get a good night kip before we uh, decide what we're going to do. Uh, I haven't managed to find the outpost. I've been traveling for a very long time. What is that thing? Who are you? Why is there just a random pole? Who's been nerding? <laughs> uh, wow, that's different, I guess. Huh. Actually, that reminds me of the thing from Hexit, that does. I wonder... Oh, yeah, look on the map. There we go. That's one... It's a Kami Tower. <laughs> it's a Kami Tower. Wow. I wonder if we... Could, if we nah, there's no way we could take on a Kami Tower in the minute. We're just nowhere near strong enough to do that. I remember doing it in Hexit, and it was like... Really, really hard until I had decent gear. Uh, can we go in here? We can. Ha 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 ha! Yes! This is a very nice place to settle down for the night, I think. I'm going to place my bed. Yes. Cool. And uh, I think that's going to be that. Alright, guys. Well, I will see you soon for the fourth episode of the amazing, uh, the most amazing mod pack that is Mad Pack. Yes. Because it's very cool indeed, and there's lots of uh, amazing stuff to be doing, and castles and things, and yes, it's it's <laughs> it's very good. So I will see you guys soon for the next one. We'll finally find a place to call home, I hope, and we'll start playing with some magical doobries and possibly get married. Who knows? I'll see you guys soon. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one, and goodbye.